All governments are immoral and criminal institutions because they force everyone under threat of violence to pay mandatory taxes for life. There are hundreds of taxes from property tax to income tax to inheritance tax. You must pay them all or else the government will use the power and force of its machinery to seize your bank account, arrest you, and put you in jail. How is that any different than the mafia? Governments demand we pay our dues regularly, promise us we'll be safe and protected if we do. And if we don't, agents come around to shake us down or put us away. If taxes were voluntary, then governments wouldn't automatically be immoral or criminal because they would be completely funded by donation only. Thus, their very existence limited by voluntarism. Name one thing that governments provide that people couldn't do better, easier, and more efficiently at the community level. There is nowhere on earth you can go that isn't controlled by a statist government. Every piece of land has been divided up and claimed by 196 nations, all of which are controlled by some form of forced governance. There is nowhere left on earth that sovereign, freedom-loving individuals can go live freely without a mafioso government forcing them to pay taxes and obey laws. All current forms of government initiate and mandate violence and slavery upon their populations. We are all slaves to our governments because every nation forces under threat of violence and kidnapping that we must pay them a percentage of our income. So if the definition of slavery is forcefully taking 100% of someone's income, what is it called when governments forcefully take 60% of someone's income? Is that not slavery? We are taught in school that slavery ended long ago, and it is universally understood that slavery is immoral. But if governments still are forcibly taking even 1% of their population's income, that is still slavery, and even 1% slavery is immoral. The very definition of the word government is mind control. And the vast majority of people worldwide are absolutely mind controlled by their governments, medias, and education systems to believe that their statist government is a moral and altruistic institution that exists for the benefit of the people. The reality is, of course, the opposite. The reality is that all nations are like open air slave plantations, allowing their servant populations to choose their occupation, giving the illusion of freedom. Then swooping in on payday to steal the fruits of your labor. This is why all governments are criminal and immoral, and why the only system of just governance is anarchism or voluntarism. There is no political solution to the problem of government. Voting for a new ceremonial figurehead every four years has never, will never, and could never create any significant, lasting positive change because governments cannot be improved or made moral from within. None of them respect the right of the individual to opt out of being governed. All governments around the world initiate the use of violence in the form of police and coercion in the form of taxes. And this is absolutely immoral and unacceptable. Consensual sex is moral because it is voluntary, whereas rape is immoral because it's forced. Similarly, things like charity donations and the free market are moral because they are voluntary, whereas theft and taxation are immoral because they are forced. The root problem festering within all governments around the world is not the rife internal corruption or criminality. Those are merely symptoms and side effects of statism. The paramount problem with government is that its mandates are mandatory. Its compulsions are compulsory. For governments to be moral institutions, all taxes and interactions must be made voluntary. If governments are honestly 
in existence for our benefit, then they must be voluntary and never initiate the use of violence against their populations.